1 Chronicles chapter 2 verses 18 through 55. And Caleb the son of Hezron begat children of Azabah his wife, and of Jerioth, her sons are these, Jeshur, and Shobab, and Arden. And when Azabah was dead, Caleb took unto him Ephrat, which bare him her. And her begat Uri, and Uri begat Bezaleel. And afterward Hezron went into the daughter of Machir the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was threescore years old, and she bare him Segub. And Segub begat Jer, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead. And he took Geshur, and Aram, with the towns of Jer, from them, with Kanath, and the towns thereof, even threescore cities. All these belong to the sons of Machir the father of Gilead. And after that Hezron was dead in Caleb Ephrata, then Abia Hezron's wife bare him Asher the father of Tekoa. And the sons of Jeremiel the firstborn of Hezron were, Ram the firstborn, and Buna, and Oren, and Ozem, and Ahijah. Jeremiel had also another wife, whose name was Adarah, she was the mother of Onam. And the sons of Ram the firstborn of Jeremiel were, Maz, and Jaman, and Eker. And the sons of Onam were, Shammai, and Jada. And the sons of Shammai, Nadab and Abishur. And the name of the wife of Abishur was Abihail, and she bare him Aben, and Malad. And the sons of Nadab, Sealed, and Apayim, but Sealed died without children. And the sons of Apayim, Ishi, and the sons of Ishi, Shishan, and the children of Shishan, Alai, and the sons of Jada the brother of Shammai, Chater, and Jonathan, and Chater died without children. And the sons of Jonathan, Peleth, and Zaza. These were the sons of Jeremiel. Now Shishan had no sons, but daughters. And Shishan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Jarha. And Shishan gave his daughter to Jarha his servant to wife, and she bare him Ate. And Ate begat Nathan, and Nathan begat Zabad, and Zabad begat Ephlal, and Ephlal begat Obed, and Obed begat Jehu, and Jehu begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Halez, and Halez begat Eleasa, and Eleasa begat Sisemai, and Sisemai begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Jechemiah, and Jechemiah begat Elishama. Now the sons of Caleb the brother of Jeremiel were, Mesha his firstborn, which was the father of Ziph, and the sons of Meresha the father of Hebron. And the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Tapua, and Rechem, and Shema. And Shema begat Raham, the father of Jorkom, and Rechem begat Shemai. And the son of Shemai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Bethshur. And Ephah, Caleb's concubine, bare Haran, and Moza, and Gazas, and Haran begat Gazas. And the sons of Jodai, Regem, and Jotham, and Geshem, and Pele, and Ephah, and Shaph. Maka, Caleb's concubine, bare Sheber, and Tirhana. She bare also Shaph the father of Madmana, Sheba the father of Macbenah, and the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Aksa. These were the sons of Caleb the son of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, Shobal the father of Kurath Yerim. Salma the father of Bethlehem, Haref the father of Beth Gader. And Shobal the father of Kurath Yerim had sons, Haroa, and half of the Manathites. And the families of Kurath Yerim, the Ithrites, and the Poites, and the Shumathites, and the Mishraites, of them came the Zarethites, and the Eshtalites. The sons of Salma, Bethlehem, and the Natophathites, Adaroth, the house of Joab, and half of the Manathites, the Zorites. And the families of the scribes which dwelt at Jabez, the Tirathites, the Shemithites, and Suchathites. These are the Kenites that came of Hemath, the father of the house of Rechab. 1 Chronicles chapter 3. Now these were the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron, the firstborn Amnon, of Ahinoam the Jezreelitis, the second Daniel, of Abigail the Carmelitis. The third, Absalom the son of Maka the daughter of Talmai king of Geshur, the fourth, Adonijah the son of Haggith. The fifth, Shephatiah of Abital, the sixth, Ithream by Eglah's wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he reigned seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shimeah, and Shobab, and Nathan, and Solomon, four, of Bathshua the daughter of Amiel. Avor also, and Elishama, and Eliphalet. And Noga, and Nephig, and Jephia. And Elishama, and Eliada, and Eliphalet, nine. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, 
Abiah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son. Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son. Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son. Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son. Ammon his son, Josiah his son. And the sons of Josiah were, the firstborn Johanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalom. And the sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, Zedekiah his son. And the sons of Jeconiah, Asir, Salathiel his son. Mulkiram also, and Padiah, and Shenazar, Jechamiah, Hashamah, and Netabiah. And the sons of Padiah were, Zerubbabel, and Shimei, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah, and Shelemith their sister. And Hashuba, and Ohol, and Barakiah, and Hasadiah, Jeshabhezd, 5. And the sons of Hananiah, Pelatiah, and Jezeah, the sons of Raphiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah. And the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hattush, and Ajil, and Bariah, and Neariah, and Shaphat, 6. And the sons of Neariah, Elianai, and Hezekiah, and Azrikam, 3. And the sons of Elianai were, Hodiah, and Eliashib, and Pelaiah, and Akab, and Johanan, and Daleah, and Anani, 7. 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verses 1 through 4. The sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, and Carmi, and Hur, and Shobal. And Raiah the son of Shobal begat Jahath, and Jahath begat Ahumai, and Lahad. These are the families of the Zorathites. And these were of the father of Etam, Jezreel, and Ishma, and Idbash, and the name of their sister was Hazelelponi, and Penel the father of Geder, and Ezer the father of Husha. These are the sons of her, the firstborn of Ephrata, the father of Bethlehem. Acts chapter 24. And after five days Ananias the high priest descended with the elders, and with a certain order named Tertullus, who informed the governor against Paul. And when he was called forth, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by thee we enjoy great quietness, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by thy providence. We accept it always, and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. Notwithstanding, that I be not further tedious unto thee, I pray thee that thou wouldest hear us of thy clemency a few words. For we have found this man a pestilent fellow, and a mover of sedition among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. Who also hath gone about to profane the temple, whom we took, and would have judged according to our law. But the chief captain Lysias came upon us, and with great violence took him away out of our hands. Commanding his accusers to come unto thee, by examining of whom thyself mayest take knowledge of all these things, whereof we accuse him. And the Jews also assented, saying that these things were so. Then Paul, after that the governor had beckoned unto him to speak, answered, For as much as I know that thou hast been of many years a judge unto this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself. Because that thou mayest understand, that there are yet but twelve days since I went up to Jerusalem for to worship and they neither found me in the temple disputing with any man, neither raising up the people, neither in the synagogues, nor in the city. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. And have hope toward God, which they themselves also allow, that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust, and herein do I exercise myself, to have always a conscience void to offence toward God, and toward men. Now after many years I came to bring alms to my nation, and offerings. Whereupon certain Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple, neither with multitude, nor with tumult. Who ought to have been here before thee, an object, if they had ought against me. Or else let these same here say, if they have found any evil doing in me, while I stood before the council, except it be for this one voice, that I cried standing among them, touching the resurrection of the dead I am called in question by you this day. And when Felix heard these things, having more perfect knowledge of that way, he deferred them, and said, When Lysias the chief captain shall come down, I will know the uttermost of your matter. And he commanded a centurion to keep Paul, and to let him have liberty, and that he should forbid none of his acquaintance to minister or come unto him. And after certain days, when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, which was a Jewess, he sent for Paul, 
and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. And as he reasoned of righteousness, temperance, and judgment to come, Felix trembled, and answered, Go thy way for this time, when I have a convenient season, I will call for thee. He hoped also that money should have been given him of Paul, that he might loose him, wherefore he sent for him the oftener, and communed with him. But after two years Portius Festus came into Felix's room, and Felix, willing to show the Jews a pleasure, left Paul bound. Psalms 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness, Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress, have mercy upon me, and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity, and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself, the Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe, and sin not, commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good. Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace, and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Proverbs chapter 18 verses 16 through 18. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbour cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contentions to cease, and parteth between the mighty.